Full day of eating with Brad Alt. let's go. I always kickstart my day with a hot drink because I'm so British, so today I'm opting for a coffee rather than a tea because I'm training soon, get some caffeine in my system, ready to train. I've opted for some honey in my coffee, as you'll see. Uh, the reason being, it's just gonna offer me some kind of health benefit rather than having artificial sugar because all that's gonna do is just give me a one-way ticket to diabetes. So if you're wondering what the health benefits are, to name a couple, it's got a couple of vitamins, many minerals, so to name a few, you've got zinc, magnesium, potassium, copper, calcium, iron, and also because of the antioxidant compounds found in honey called polyphenols, it's been researched to suggest that they may help prevent you from heart disease and cancer. Now, I'm not saying that I drink coffee just because I want to prevent myself from getting cancer and heart disease. I literally just have it just to sweeten up my coffee, but if you wanted to know a couple of health benefits, then I thought I'd give you some. I forgot to mention as well, like when I wake up, I have a glass of water just to hydrate myself ready for training so like i said i am training soon so i'm gonna get my pre-workout meal in which should consist of a protein source and a carbohydrate source so i'm having that skewer yogurt thing so it tastes good macros are good it's pretty sound so i'm having that a banana i'm sure you know what one of them looks like tangerine bran flakes and sultanas so your pre-workout meal should have two objectives the first one being supplying your muscles with amino acids to help with muscle growth and number two, just providing you energy to train in the gym. So having full glycogen stores in your muscles to train. So in regards to the protein source, you might be wondering how much. I'd recommend 20, maybe up to 40 grams of protein pre-workout. Um, also in regards to carbohydrates, I'd recommend a mixture of simple carbs and complex carbs. So what I would advise is keeping fats minimal. The reason being fats aren't gonna help with muscle protein synthesis and it's not gonna help provide you energy in the gym. So yeah, your body takes a lot longer to digest fats rather than carbs, so to me it makes absolutely no sense to have fats high for a pre-workout meal, yeah. Protein source, carbohydrate source, right mindset, and yeah, let's go and train Paul. I am about to walk into a gym I've never been in before, accompanied by the briefcase. Say hello. Hello, Paul. Yeah, about to train Paul with Callum in this gym I've never been in, so we'll see you when we get in there. session done pretty good session never been to that gym before and i really did quite enjoy that experience so probably will come again absolutely blasting it down with rain now less than ideal so plan is now get the second meal in the post-workout meal so i will see you in about two seconds right i'm back i'm home now i am about to make my post-workout meal i will reflect more on the gym session shortly but this is what we're making we're making chicken wraps and this is the ingredients we're using so we have uh, mushrooms, tomatoes, uh, chopped onion. Couldn't be bothered to cut up an onion. Don't judge me. It was like 15p. I thought the convenience of it for 15p. 
But yeah, I'm having them. And some iceberg lettuce. Uh, I've got some wraps, obviously, because we're making wraps. Might need them. And we've got some chicken. Um, that ain't gonna be enough, so we'll have to dig into this pack as well. So yeah, they are the ingredients. So I've got a mixture of carbohydrates and protein. You want protein in your post-workout meal for muscle protein synthesis and carbohydrates to replenish the glycogen store. So yeah, get ready for it. You can pretty much call me Ramsey after this, or you can call me Brad, it's completely up to you. Check it out. spot on absolutely gone that lasted about a whole 30 seconds i put the macro on the screen and the ingredients i used pretty ideal high protein a lot of carbs not too much fat as well in that meal there's a fair few micronutrients in there so if you're supplying your body with micronutrients it's going to be a healthier body and a healthier body is going to perform better than a not so healthy body anyway quick reflection on that gym session yeah i've never been to that gym before the equipment were really good, the gym owner was sound, the people in there seemed all right. So yeah, it was a good experience. Obviously I can't measure progression because it's all new kit, but I quite liked that kind of thing of going in and using different stuff. So yeah, good session. Plan now is to get a shower because I probably stink. I need to go and do my steps. I'm trying to hit 10 to 12K a day. And I'll probably start editing this video and then it will be time to go through the next meal. So, Right, meal number three is about to go in and we're making protein ice cream. I've never actually done this before, but I believe in myself and it's gonna work. So, ingredients, we've got whey protein, almond milk, almond, almond, however you say it. We've got some raspberries and peanut butter. We've got something to measure the almond milk with and we have a blender. So. There we go, the protein ice cream first ever attempt. To be honest, it's not that bad at all. And if you think I came up with this recipe for a protein ice cream, you're absolutely wrong. I got it off Zach Perna. So, Zach, if you ever watch this video. Oh, it's well crap. I could put Ben and Jerry's out of business with this. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'm going to get my steps in, get up to 10K for the day and then I will check back in for the final meal of the day. So, see you then. Here we go, the fourth meal of the day, the last meal of the day. I'm getting close up and personal about this. Right, what we're having, do not misjudge the combination of all these foods. It might look weird, but it's nice, trust me. If we're making a meal, we need to get cinematic. Three, two, one, Brad Alt production. favorite meal and let's do a taste test although I've already like ate half of it let's pretend I didn't do that yeah 10 out of 10 macros on the screen followed by this meal's macros I'm gonna put the total daily macros on the screen right now any questions about any of the meals I had any questions at all leave it in the comments but yeah I'm gonna start waffling carry on eating I'll let you do whatever you're gonna do and I'll see you in the next video remember to drop the video a like obviously and subscribe if you haven't already yeah, see you later.